Thank you to Bruce and Seth for joining us in Park Fan Fiction Corner. And it's my review of Halloween Kills. Now, if you, do, if you don't recognize that, that it's basically an extension of what happened that night uh, from the Halloween movie 2018. Or 2019. Now, it, it first takes place where uh, Lori... Um, Playing Jamie Lee Curtis, along with her daughter and her granddaughter, after fighting off Michael, go to the hospital so she can get looked at. Um, while that's going on, they see two um, fire trucks go toward her house. Now, I like how they did that, where it shows an, an extension based off what happened. Now, now from there, it shows the firefighters getting to the scene. Um, and two firefighters went in the house, I guess, to see if there's people. And it showed one of the firefighters falling through the floor. Um, and a uh, garage door opens, and there is Michael. Now, I like how they did that as well, just because it doesn't show just Michael coming out of, let's say, like a closet or something like that. Um, and then Michael uses a axe or something from the firefighters to hit him and basically kill him his fire helmet um, and then somehow and then the other firefighter thought uh, he was okay so Michael pulled the other firefighter and killed him um, now and then he somehow got out of the basement and was standing basically in the doorway go outside where there was a bunch of fire people, firefighters. And you could see them, so they had like um, axes and then one of them had sort of like a, it was a chainsaw thing. I'm not entirely sure what, what, what the definition of that is. And one by one, Michael hit and killed each of them through their axes or through the chainsaw thing. Um, it, it, it was a very gory scene, to say the least. Now, uh, then, um, and then throughout the story, that was becoming a big thing of him uh, killing each person. Now, the thing I also like, too, about the movie is it also surrounded his childhood home where and I also like the fact too they added a um, gay couple into the mix uh, who lived in the house and had some Halloween decorations but you could tell it wasn't really their forte um, and how he killed them but making it look like it was just trick or treaters um Now, while that's going on at the hospital, uh, Lori just had surgery and she was in basically in recovery. And and so people thought Michael was in the hospital, so it went on lockdown. And so everybody was coming in the hospital or everybody was in the hospital at that point asking all the people at the desk, is my child here? Is my husband here? Is my wife here? Um, and they were saying, I don't know, possibly um, in, in those ballparks. Um, 
I liked how they did that just because, you know, you weren't entirely sure if they were there or not. Um, well, you saw this short guy um, with Lori's daughter running from basically it was a bunch of people from like police to doctors, nurses to general people coming in, seeing if their relative or friend or whoever was in there. Um, and then, so he locked himself in this hallway. Um, and you could tell he was kind of like, uh, that sort of thing. And so he kicked the window out and was hesitating if he should jump or not. So he, about a minute later, he decided to. And when he fell, uh, it basically, he looked like a combination of like a watermelon and then a dummy because like his I'm trying to make this as PG as I can basically the top of his head along with his brain was everywhere and then his limbs were all disfigured well that's going on with Michael he's in a park um and he just, he was going to kill two kids, uh, but uh, someone told him to escape, and they ran. Didn't see him at, you don't see him again in the movie. But he killed four, basically three people in this car in different ways. Um, One of them was kind of a funny death, though, I will say. She was trying to shoot at Michael. Uh, and I think when he shot at her, when she shot at him, he kind of opened the door. The bullet uh, went off the door and hit her. Another one I'm not going to really mention. because Some of the deaths in this are very brutal. Um... And then in the, basically while Lori is also in the hospital, it wasn't until she finds out Michael isn't dead. And so she's the, wanting to kill him. Now, while that's going on, and with the hospital, you also have a group of people um, from the bar that and, and that they have recruited from people with all different backgrounds. And so the ending was kind of neat because Michael, Lori's daughter, somehow got Michael's mask and was chased into like a cul-de-sac street. Street. Don't know why I said it that way. And so I liked how everybody got their turn hitting at Michael. And You had people stab him with a pitchfork. You had people hit him with baseball bats. You had people, I forgot what other weapons they had. But it, it, was, it was a neat scene. And so Lori's daughter, to what they thought was killing him off, basically just stabbed him in the hand. Um... And so he, she went to comfort her daughter. 
Michael Myers' house. Well, what she did not know was Michael basically got up and killed everybody who was standing there in, in different ways. Um, and then Lori's daughter went up to, I, th I believe it was Michael's room. Uh, surprisingly in a Christmas, Christmas sweater. I've got that part. And stood at the window. And what she did not know was Michael somehow came behind him and killed her. And that's basically what how the movie ended. Uh, there was one set of deaths I did not really mention in the, in this review. And that was this couple. It was a black woman and a white guy. They were both older. Uh, and basically, he killed them in a brutal way. Basically, he, with the older woman, he took a fluorescent light, uh, broke the bulb in half, while the bulb was still basically hot, and kind of stuck it into her neck and kind of was twisting it. And then the guy, he basically threw him through a window, brought him back in, and basically stabbed him with five different knives. One of the reasons why I did not put that into the review is because it was a very gory scene. And I try and keep this as family friendly as I can. Um, but now, my thoughts on Halloween kills. Now, first of all, I like the fact it's not over two hours. Um, it's like um, one hour and 50 minutes long. So almost two hours. Uh, and that's one thing I like is the fact, you know, it's not that long compared to what it could be. Um, now, also, I forgot to mention as well, uh, Michael also killed Lori's daughter's daughter or basically Lori's grandson or granddaughter uh killed her boyfriend and her boyfriend's dad um uh, at, at, at Michael's house but now I like where where the sequel which was supposed to come out uh October of next year is leading to because now it's going to basically have Lori and her granddaughter try to fight off Michael. Fight, basically kill Michael. Even though the townspeople said this ends tonight. Now, I'm curious on how they're going to do that just because basically look at what Michael has been through and been hit with 